Hello, uh, I'm going to be doing a performance test of Doom here, and the reason for that is on the right hand side, Vulcan has just launched. So, quickly jump into settings to show you what I'm running it at. Uh, we've got SMAA on 1. I'm going to do this up to 8 times just for this uh, thing, just so it is max settings. And that's just like giveaway here, but max settings. Um, the reason this is at 60% is because I'm running at 1440p and I don't want to change the native resolution. So this at 60% will just set the resolution down to 1080p. I'll turn it up to 1440p after, so if you want to see 1440p performance, you can. Um, lights are max, shadows are max, this is all just max out basically. Uh, VRAM usage gets up to about 4 gig on this level. Um, I can't put an overlay up, uh, MSI Afterburner does not support uh, Vulkan, yes, it doesn't support TX12 as far as I know. I might need to download a new version, I'm not sure. Uh, so I will have the performance metrics on the right hand side. Now, <clears throat> uh, I'm on a Xeon 2630v3, which is an 8 core 16 thread CPU at 2.4 gigahertz. My GTX 1070 is currently overclocked to about 2050 megahertz. And these frame timings are going to be kind of accurate, but they will also be affected by shadow play running. So keep that in mind. That's one of the big hits will be actually CPU will get hit by this. Um, I noticed it spiked up as soon as I started recording. Now, frame rates, I'd like to mention like when Nvidia talked about this, they said do my up to 200 FPS at, on Vulcan, which is like seems pretty accurate so far. Uh, actually, we don't need to go that way yet. It may look a little bit blurry, and I apologize that's for being the 1080p. Won't be running 1080p too long because if you have a 1070 or 1080, you should be trying to aim for a bit higher than that. And in here, you can see that um, the engine has a 200 FPS cap, which is a shame because I'd like to see what it actually goes up to, but without the performance metrics I can't really say. I can't see what my GPU usage is at. Just grab that quick. I did notice on, um, look I did a standing still test on the first level, just to see what it was like in a identical area, and in the first room of the game on 1440p it was at like 70 to 75 fps on full, on uh, OpenGL, sorry. And then it went up to about 95 to 100 on Vulcan, so that was a 30% increase. Alright, this may be a little loud. Also chose this early level because it's got a lot of nice lighting effects on it. Uh, it's indoors, which a lot of the start of the game takes part in. And also that main room with all the magma, molten lead, um, that dips pretty heavily on OpenGL. I'll talk about that more around 1440p. I've, um, this is like my further up save, but you can come back and play levels, so I will have weapons that you're not supposed to have here. Right, there's one done. I can't keep an eye really on performance while doing another fight, so feel free to look at it. I'm obviously going to be concentrating on the gameplay to make sure I don't get murdered. Ooh, we're not dying. Uh, I'm going to show a secret here. If you don't want to see the secret Doom level for this mission, look away. Ba -da -da. And, like, that opens this over here. I spent so long looking for this. And the performance in here doesn't actually increase for a little bit. You can see it's still at like 95, and then 
suddenly yeah, it just shoots up. So I'm guessing that is actually um, over here is how far I have to wait for like stuff over here to unload. Because I can't imagine like that area was that demanding. So I'm guessing it's just removing the rest of it. Alright, we're getting out of Doom area because performance isn't too vital in here. In case you wanted to see it though, there you go. That's a lot of enemies. Let's blow these guys up. Get rid of that pistol, I'll never use it. Right, I'm going to turn it up to 1440p now. So. I always think the resolution scale would be in video. Now, <clears throat> this is actually a pretty big hit going from 1080p to 1440p, as you can see. And the CPU timings have actually increased, which makes me think some of the effects are actually which are like handled by CPU are affected by resolution, which is odd. But. Whatever. So yeah, so like when I look down on this uh, uh, on OpenGL, this actually dipped to about 55 FPS. It was dipping below 60, looking down at all this. Uh, I'm not sure what it is. Molten lead, I'm guessing, or something along those lines. So yeah, to see that like stay up is really nice. And look at my CPU usage. I mean, that is lovely to see. 60-70% across 16 threads. That's ridiculous, but nice. Uh, my CPU is actually taking a hit here. Um, I'm guessing this is like a combination of one recording with shadow play and uh, two being a low core clock, because I said it's only 2.4 gigahertz. So, with a 4 core, like 4 gigahertz or whatever, you should do fine, if not better. Right. I'm not going for the armor because I always die. Is this one of these dwarf things down here? Yes. Perfect Domondo. Right, I cleared this up and wow, clear this one up and then the cool things there. Don't think there's any specific drive route for this. Like, I was checking the newest driver and that says it's for Dirt VR, so I'm guessing like this one already works or something. Why do I have scope on that? Do I not have rockets? Yeah, of course so. In case you know how weapons work in this game, they all have like a different alt fire. Right, they have two each, and the one for the minigun. That woman is so loud. The one for the minigun is uh, what minigun? What's LMG is either a scope or rockets, and because it's Doom, of course you want rockets. This is the minigun. A bit overkill on normal dudes. That was weird. Oh, exploded. Right, so. There you go. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. So, there you go, there's a. Uh, Rough indication of how it performs. Uh, 1080p performance is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, I don't think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm not sure if there's any like 200 hertz monitors out. I know there was like an ESO one, but I think it was not proper 240 hertz. It was like 120 hertz interplated twice, so you can't take full advantage of it. But yeah, this game is glorious for high refresh rate monitors. So. Right, thank you for watching. Any questions, just ask below. And I shall hopefully see you soon. Goodbye.